And it came to pass in the history of this generation that after a period of nine months of incubation, it became the will of God that you should be included among the world's population. Your coming to this world was never the outcome of a biological evolution, experimentation, nor a miscalculation. Even before the thought of your conception was stable for family discussion, God already knew of your destination. If God was not interested in your glorious manifestation, he would not have permitted the approval of your visitation. Of a truth, you would have gone into extinction, either through abduction or in no other time than the hour of your parturition due to medical imperfection. But just because you were created for a glorious obligation, it became imperative for God Almighty to be interested in your reproduction. Even until the moment of your transportation from the realm of impeccable habitation, God was still not disappointed by the content of your addiction. You are a child with a colorful and uncommon definition in collaboration with an incredible configuration. You are more amazing than a science fiction. God is not a man that he should lie of the things that has to do with your manifestation or your revelation. Neither will it permit a day to pass by without putting you into consideration. Even all through the period of your transmogrification, there was never a time it didn't make available for you that which is essential to give you the best of nutrition or for once faith to stretch forth his hands of protection when you cried unto him during the hour of your tribulation. Now tell me, what will provide you a better explanation or be your own personal certification why God is so dutifully and passionately concerned about your preservation if he had not in reality created you for a glorious obligation, one that is sufficient to give you a standing ovation regardless of your skin pigmentation or geographical location. What then will be your moral justification if you perish today without bringing into materialization the primary essence of your procreation? Many have come before you and they have gone into a station. They died without notifying the world of their designation. Some came and had a misconception of the primary essence of their fiction and in addition to leaving behind a whole lot of heartbreaking commotion they departed the world as a subtraction and despite the intervention of the league of nations today known as the united nation man is yet to be granted a total satisfaction it is in view of all of these aberration, oppression, suppression, depression, resection, and of course discombobulation that God Almighty has deemed imperative that you should have your visitation because the world needs your contribution.